Question one says, explain one type of inter-observer agreement and describe how it is calculated. First off, inter-observer agreement is when there are two observers measuring the same data. Okay. Now, the inter-observer agreement itself is used to determine the fidelity of data collection or the actual data measurement system itself. Now, Buteau 2020 says that there is a rationale behind this of integrity checks for the observational system that's being used, procedural checks on consistency with which measurement the measurement system is being used, and it also helps to avoid observer drift and should be used as a training instrument Okay, now, the, the actual example for the um, inter-observer agreement that I will explain is total agreement, okay? And then this is where there are two observers. The first one, let's say, for example, observe someone stomping, uh, let's say, um, four times, whereas observer two uh, observes someone uh, stomping three times, right? Okay, so the formula that we're going to use for this is S divided by L times 100, okay? So S representing the smaller number and L representing the larger number, okay? All right, so let's plug our numbers in. Okay, so we have three divided by four times 100. That's going to give us 75%, right? Okay, all right, 75% total agreement. Now, but according to Bouteau 2020, or according to the inter the inter-observer agreement in general, um, the actual percentage should be 80%, okay? All right, now, of course, the ideal would be 100%, but 80% is doable. Okay. All right. I also wanted to mention something else that I thought was useful, which is uh, benefits and uses of IOA. The first is is that you know IOA can in interrupts over agreement. IOA can function as a basis for determining the competence of new observers. That's cool as a RBT. Okay. All right. And then second, systematic assessment of IOA over the course of a study can de can detect observer drift, which we're trying to avoid. Third, knowing the two Knowing that two or more observers consistently obtain similar data increases confidence that the definition of the target behavior was clear and non-ambiguous and the measurement code and system not too difficult. That's really good. And then fourth, for studies that employ multiple observers as data collectors, consistently high levels of IOA increase confidence that variability in the data is not a function of the observers or observer that ha it happened that happened to be on duty for any given session and therefore that changes in the data more likely reflect actual changes in the behavior that was so cool all right thank you for watching my video check